A bit of a crime spree here in central Indiana in the heart of Indianapolis because before those officers were shot around 1240 today, we had seen a total of six shootings across Indianapolis in just the last 12 hours. And three people died in those shootings, including one student from Arsenal Tech. A school bus driver found the 15 year old and then called police. Our Rich and I has been following up on this story all day. And Rich joins us live tonight from outside that high school. Rich. And Marie and Scott, Indianapolis Public Schools confirms that a student here at Arsenal, Arsenal Technical High School was shot and killed early this morning near their bus stop on the east side. Crisis counseling has been available here at the school today for students and staff. And for some students, their ride to school this morning was tragically interrupted by a homicide. An IPS bus pulled into this neighborhood off of 38th Street near Post Road about 6.30 this morning. The driver saw a body lying in the grass near Breen Drive and Brentwood Avenue and called 911. The body was a 15-year-old sophomore who should have gotten on that bus to go to Arsenal Technical High School, but the teen was pronounced dead at the hospital. Gun violence is not the answer. Gun violence is not the solution. Gun violence is not going to get our community where it needs to be. Gun violence is not going to help us create a safer city. It's just not. The teen's grandmother identified the victim as Derek Houston Jr., who lived with his mother across the street in an apartment complex, but catches the bus here. 22 other students, classmates, were on the bus. They didn't see the shooting, but are witnesses to the gun violence killing young people again and again in Indianapolis. It's a tragedy. A teenage victim, the death of someone's child is a tragedy. Our community is heartbroken this morning. An IPS bus drove back through the neighborhood Thursday afternoon dropping off students. Police are hoping someone heard or saw something or that home security cameras may have recorded something to help their investigation. Police have made no arrests. They are pleading with the community to come forward with information. Anyone with information or who may have home video that picked up something are urged to call police or Crime Stoppers at 317-262-TIPS.